for AV tube. It's uh, Maker Steve in the workshop, and uh, we got a printer that's been uh, fighting with us for a little bit. Um, it's uh, jamming up, so uh, broke down and uh, bought the two meter Capricorn XS kit, and we're gonna uh, clear out the jam in this hot end and we're going to install uh, a little bit of Capricorn and see if that alleviates our problem. Um, I've got it preheated so we're going to go and loosen up this hot end. It, it, I can't pull it out right now uh, so I've obviously got a plug in the uh, end here so Loosen this up and see if we can get this jam cleared out. Uh, it's plugged higher up in the PTFE than I would have expected. So we'll lift the hot end up. And we've got some uh, spare nozzles laying around. Grab a little wrench. Last print came out pretty stringy. Buy us a little room, clip that off. So, this is what we're replacing. Uh, this kit is about $15 on Amazon. Comes with uh, plenty of PTFE to get you through uh, several upgrades, and you get new compression fittings. So we put that one on there. Uh, you'll notice with these fittings there's definitely uh, a tactile click when you press down on them um, some of the ones that come directly from uh, Creality you can't get that um, I always like to take a piece of PTFE and run down the tube and pull out anything that's stuck in there you can see there was a little bit of uh, filament still in there looks pretty clear now one more time I've got a box of new four millimeter nozzles get that in there and started Um, the new kit comes with a uh, cutter, so we'll just match it up, and I'm going to add about an inch. That'll give me some room to uh, cut down if I need to. Make sure it's square and seated. And let's take a look and make sure it looks square. Okay, it starts and goes right in. So we'll put the PTFE compression fitting on the hot end side. 
tighten it up. Looks pretty good. And I'm going to slide this in there until it hits the nozzle. And then I'm going to tighten the nozzle up. And you'll see it back up a little bit. And that will let you know you're seated all the way. Uh, I have learned that you do want to go tighter than you're comfortable with on the nozzle. Um, and that's in there and seated. Now we should be able to feed our filament through. And the key you're looking for here is you should see the uh, filament come through in a continuous stream and then you should be able to back it out a little bit and it should be smooth and you um, you're basically simulating what retraction does so you pull a little bit and if you got a gap in there you'll feel it um, this feels smooth as butter And now we're going to go um, to the prepare screen and we're going to tell it to auto home. Make sure our mat's on there in the square. Anytime you change, change out the nozzle, you're going to have to re-tram it or re-level it. And my uh, S-clips are uh, kind of worn out. <coughs> and broke so I'll print some more when I get a little free time. Uh, I've got uh, seven Creality printers. I print pretty much 24 hours a day and by the end of a week I'll have two or three go down for nozzle jams or whatever and so this is kind of normal. Um, prepared, disable steppers, Since the nozzles were the same brand, they should be pretty quick to level up. And you're looking for just a bit of tension. Or friction. You want to make sure that it's not grabbing when you're uh, testing your paper. I think that's good enough to start. So we'll reset the printer. Um, I've got several prints on the SD card and we'll pick out uh, something to test with. It'll take a minute for the uh, heat bed to get up to temp and then we'll be off and print again.
almost there. I've got a uh, PTFE cutter I bought off Amazon. I've got the one that came from Capricorn. They're uh, pretty similar. As far as I can tell, they came out of the same machine. And we should be getting some nice low out of this. Looks a little tight on that end. I'll back it off. And there you have it. Uh, we completed the upgrade to uh, Capricorn. And we'll check back in a little later. Uh, and... Uh, let you know the result, but I'm sure it's going to be great um, based on all the reviews and, and all the hype on Capricorn. It's probably uh, the real deal. So uh, that's it.